Do you know what this painting is called and who painted it? The painting is called The Ghost of Vermeer of Delft which can be used as a table, and is a small surrealist oil painting by Salvador Dali. Its full title is The Ghost of Vermeer of Delft which can be used as a table, phenomenologic theory of furniture nutrition. It makes reference to the art of painting by Johannes Vermeer, a famous 17th-century work in which a painter, thought to be a self-portrait of Vermeer, is depicted with his back to us, in distinctive costume. It is one of a number of paintings expressive of Dolly's enormous admiration for Vermeer. Vermeer is represented as a dark spindly figure in a kneeling position. The figure's outstretched leg serves as a tabletop surface, on which sits a bottle and a small glass. This leg tapers to a baluster-like stub, there is a shoe nearby. The walls and the distant views of the mountains are based on real views near Dolly's home in Port Legat. In Vermeer's painting the artist leans on a mall stick, and his hand is painted with an unusual blurriness, perhaps to indicate movement. In Dolly's painting Vermeer rests the same arm on a crutch. It is unsigned and undated but known to have been completed circa 1934. It is currently on display at the Salvador Dali Museum in St. Petersburg, Florida, on loan from the E. and A. Reynolds Morse Collection. It was auctioned at Christie's on November 9, 2022 for six million U.S. dollars and in his lot essay they describe it like this. Between 1934 and 1935, during a period of immense critical and popular acclaim, Dali produced a series of four oil paintings, two on canvas, two on panel, titled Le Spectre de Vermeer de Delft. A loving, intensely personal ode to the old master of Delft, these works mark an important moment of quiet reflection amid Dolly's meteoric rise to fame. The present work, dutifully rendered in an intimate scale, provides a glimpse not only into the psyche of the artist, but into the nature of artistic influence itself. In 1934, Dali found himself on top of the art world, during his first trip to the U.S., he held six solo exhibitions in New York alone. Triumphantly, he penned a statement titled New York Salutes Me. He wrote, New York, why, why did you erect my statue long ago, long before I was born, higher than another, more desperate than another? In the stunning fidelity of Vermeer's fine brushwork and masterful composition, in works such as The Art of Painting, Dali found rich strategies to sublimate his unconscious intuitions into hyperreal masterpieces. In both the present work and Vermeer's, the principal figure is seen with his back to the viewer, looking deeper into the pictorial plane, the surrounding scenes seem to spill out from these figures' canotic gaze. In Le Spectre de Vermeer de Delft, the figure bears a distinctive Vermeer-esque frock and hat, but his setting is transfigured. The painter's malstick has become the spectre's crutch, and as he kneels, his right leg resembles that of a table. As the specter gazes over the walled midground and towards a distant ridgeline, light spills across the scene from right to left, perpendicular to the viewer, a trace of Vermeer's studio remains in this new world. Dolly's painting evokes something beyond his clear admiration for the Dutch master. Dali brings himself to the fore, evoking a sense of simultaneous kinship within distance from this disembodied Vermeer.